Hi, Dr. Nudi. Hi, hi. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you too. Today we are at the Saffron booth. Uh, so can you please tell us what you have to show? Well, uh, basically, Suresh, this is the new uh, engine that is being manufactured by Saffron Helicopter Engines. It's called the Arano. I think what uh, OEM will do is to um, expose the latest uh, technology, uh, the more efficient engine in order to support the customer. So it's called the Arano. Um, I believe that for Malaysia, it would be a year down the road that right. we will have this engine in country. Okay. And apart from this, is there anything else that uh, GTI, Global Turbine Asia, is um, servicing within the government agencies and outside Malaysia? Yes, I think it's part of our capability building. Uh, yes, we start with uh, rotor wing engines, which is by and large we are distributor and uh, approved maintenance center for Safran helicopter engines. So, but then we, we, we know that it's a very challenging uh, helicopter market that we are facing. So in order to look forward to, uh, in order to, for us to grow the company, so we've decided to work with our partner Safran in order to support the A400M military uh, for our Royal Malaysian Air Force. Uh, yeah. So how does the A400M working out for GTA so far? Uh, I think it's a huge leap for us. Uh, basically what we do in-house is smaller engines, MRO services. Uh, and this TP400 engines on the A400M is a huge uh, uh, engine and uh, we got to uh, really take it further with the Royal Malaysian Air Force in order to work together. Uh, in terms of the technology transfer as well, we are working with the OEM. Uh, what I have done is to send all our technicians to be trained in Paris and that's part of the technology transfer. Apart from that, we are the only uh, approved maintenance organization outside of Europe, Suresh. So, you know the machines are flying mainly in Europe and Malaysia has four. So, we are very happy that we managed to go through the whole process of audit. Uh, so, we are at IASA 145, approved maintenance center for the TP400. So, it's a, 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 a huge, huge feat. <laughs> And I believe that um, for a A400M, there's only eight nations who's got them, and Malaysia is one of them. Yeah. yeah for I, Asia. Yes. I think for Asia, we are the first one in the region. Yes. And uh, with us, uh, on behalf of Global Turbine Asia, I think we are positioning ourselves. Should there be uh, any customers within the region that is going to buy? So uh, we take the opportunities to see whether we can support. So basically, you're not only able to support, but starting from your homegrown, now you're expanding out to, to regionally, right? Correct. I think uh, we are quite a robust team. We started off 10 years ago. Uh, we have a lot of support from Safran on the smaller engines and now they're supporting us to grow our capability. So I can only look forward to better things yes. in the future. I think the good thing here is as well as you're also developing the local capabilities of the team and, and they're able to sustain themselves yeah. through the series. I think that's, that's one thing good. And of, of like you said, right, the A is a very big project. Yes. It's a big contract, but it's, it's, a very, it's a huge achievement. But I think, uh, just to add on uh, what you're saying, uh, yes, it's a big project, but if you have your basics, right, uh, you have good governance, you have good practices, you have continuous improvement, uh, I believe in uh, any organisation, you should be able to, you know, uh, get yourself ready for the next challenge, yeah. And from, from Rotary, now you have come to A400M. Yes. So what is the next step for GTA? Well, uh, I believe that we must always uh, chew what we can swallow. So uh, just to share, uh, our medium-term planning is to really make sure that we have all the knowledge that we can get on the uh, TP400 and to make sure our sole customer will be happy. Uh, a happy customer, hopefully be many more happy customers yeah. to come your way. Uh, apart from that, uh, we are also working with Safran Affiliates. Uh, so we do have avionics that we do support. We do have the uh, ground power units that we help uh, our Safran uh, affiliate, uh, affiliates in, in country in order to uh, help them with the maintenance and uh, product support. So basically you have a very good collaboration, strong collaboration, and the trust is already established. It's working out very well. Yeah. Now. Moving forward, as you already know, the aviation industry is booming, especially in Southeast Asia. What are your thoughts about that? Like, uh, what are the things, the expansion is? So what are the opportunities here in Southeast Asia? Um, 
it's, it's not a secret that Asia PAC is booming uh, for the aviation industry. I mean, there's a lot of surveys and studies that are being done uh, by consultants. So we take all this information and we engage our stakeholders, uh, especially with the Malaysian government, uh, the Ministry of Trade and Industry. So uh, I guess we can only uh, I look forward to fit into the ecosystem. We do not want to reinvent the wheel, but what are we good at as Malaysians and uh, maybe uh, collaborate with uh, some of the countries uh, in the, surrounding us. So it's actually to offer that uh, to the industry. So uh, I believe Malaysia is very good at uh, composite manufacturing. Uh, so parts, aircraft parts manufacturing is one of the key things, uh, key drivers for the economy. Uh, another would be MRO, but I think MRO, we have to shift our mindset to uh, more of the uh, innovation side, the new way, the moder modernization of MRO. So I guess all these changes that we have to adapt, and I believe that also uh, business is not as usual. You must keep on reinventing yourself. So I, I think uh, you have to really look at yourself in order to uh, be flexible in to address the current market trends. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And your final thoughts about transfer of technology because. Um, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> can we transfer? Yes. Right. So because a lot of OEMs say they do transfer technology, yeah. TOT, but they don't really end up doing what they promised. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I guess um, I'm pretty lucky that I, um, I have a lot of trust from the OEM. It's due to the fact that perhaps a long relationship with French industry. Uh, I do admit uh, there's a lot of cases that it, it fails. Uh, I guess OEM uh, would have their own strategy. So people like tier one, tier two companies or people who support uh, after sales, uh, we will have to get into their game in order to grow ourselves. So you cannot be isolated. You, sure. You've got to uh, compliment uh, the big guys and show them that with your performance and with, with uh, whatever your track record is, uh, you're, you're the right guy in country. So um, then the, I think it's just instantly the transfer of technology will come anyways. Yeah. So Dr. Dhoni, thank you so much for talking with us. It's a real pleasure. I just mine. And all the best for you and GTA. And I hope to see you again you? for the yes. next show yes, and many more to come. Definitely. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Take care.